sequencer mode. We've seen how the Korg Kronos is packed with tools to inspire you, from nine sound engines to Karma to wave sequencing, drum track, and more. The internal 16-track sequencer is designed to capture your idea when inspiration hits, for example, with auto song setup. Select internal A000, the era of Kronos. As soon as you get an idea, you just hold down Enter and press the Record Write button. Touch OK. Now everything has been brought into a new song location in the sequencer. Record is already activated. All you need to do is press the Start button. There will be a two-measure count in, and then it will start recording. Here's a tip. Press and hold the notes during the two-measure count in. This will ensure that your first notes will be on the very first beat of the first measure. Idea captured. In fact, all the different Karma parts and your own keyboard part have been recorded on separate tracks. You can now copy, paste, edit, etc. Let's look at recording one track at a time. The Kronos has some tools to help make this easy as well. Use the Up button to go to the next empty song location. Of course, you can select whatever sounds you want for each track, but a song template will quickly set up the first eight tracks with sounds, levels, panning, effects, etc. in a particular musical genre so you can quickly start recording. Pull down the upper right menu. Touch Load Template Song. Touch the arrow. There are 18 preset and 16 user to choose from. Select P02 R&B. Let's copy one of the preset drum patterns to track one while we're here. Touch this box, and then OK. You can select from many user and preset patterns. Let's just use the suggested one, P31, Real 8 Beat 2, All. All in the name refers to the drum programs that will work with this pattern. Some of the patterns are designed to work with specific drum kit programs. Each time you press OK, it will put this four measure pattern sequentially on the track, in this case, track one, starting at measure one. Now we're at measure five. Press OK. Now we're at measure 9, and so on. Touch Exit. Let's listen to a bit of the drum pattern we put on track 1. Press Locate. Locate is programmable, but by default it will bring us back to measure 1, beat 1. Now that we've quickly created a drum part, let's record a bass part on track 2. There's already a bass program assigned. Record. Start. Track 3, Electric Piano. Select track 5. This shows that track 5 is already set up with a karma pattern. 
in this case a strumming pattern. Turn on Karma. Just play a chord and Karma strums it for you. Of course, we can copy, paste, event edit what we've recorded, and more. When the control assign is set to timber tracks, the control surface becomes a mixer for the MIDI tracks. Notice that the mixer knobs are set to individual pan, meaning each knob is a pan for tracks 1 through 8 or 9 through 16, and these switches mute the tracks. If you select Channel Strip, then the knobs control the pan, EQ, and Master Effects sends for a single track. The switches select which track that is. Leave it on Channel Strip for now. Most workstations stop there, but Kronos is also a 16-track audio recorder, directly to the internal drive, sometimes called hard disk recording. You can record up to four tracks simultaneously from a variety of sources – the analog inputs, USB, etc. As well, you can record through the internal effects or not. In this case, we'll do a simple recording using a dynamic mic with a quarter-inch jack. Connect the mic to audio input 1, and set the mic line switch to mic. Touch the audio track mixer tab, pull down the upper right menu, and select Auto HDR Sampling Setup. This will automatically set up everything you need for a variety of audio track recording or sampling jobs. Select HDR Audio Track Recording, and set the source audio to Audio Input 1 Mono. We're not using any insert effects, and we're recording to track 1, so touch OK. Next, we need to set the level. Touch the Preference tab. Keep an eye on the meter and adjust the rear panel level knob until the level is high but not clipping. Check, one, two, three, check, one, two, three, check. If the signal clips, you'll see the message ADC Overload appear over the meter. Check, one, two, three, check, 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 check. Press Locate to go to the start of the song, record, and start. When I held you, knew that it would be all right. Be all right. When I held you, knew that it would be all right. You can record more tracks, bounce tracks, edit the audio, and more. When the control assign is set to audio, the control surface becomes a mixer for the audio tracks. It's still on channel strip, so let's adjust the audio track's EQ. And since the song template already set up the master effects, effects send 2 to add some reverb. Let's look at how the effects work in sequencer mode. Combination mode works the same way. Program mode works the same way, however it's like working with a single track. First, touch the EQ Vector Control tab. Each MIDI and audio track has its own three-band EQ. Touch the IFX tab, short for Insert Effects. Since we used a song template to get started, you'll notice that the effects have already been set up for many of the tracks, but of course, you can make any changes you wish. There are 12 insert effects per song. When a track is bussed to an insert effect, the audio signal passes directly through the effect. Think of it as a guitar effect pedal you plug in and out of. 
you can route a track or multiple tracks into any insert effect. Even chain effects together. Drums are a special case. You have a bus select parameter for each sound in a drum kit, so you can send the snare drum to one insert effect, the bass drum to another, etc. Touch the IFX 1 through 12 tab. Each effect can be edited extensively, even controlled in real time. Touch the Insert Effects tab. After the signal passes through the insert effect, you have Sends 1 and 2. This sets how much of the signal is sent to Master Effects 1 and 2. Touch the MFX TFX tab short for master effects and total effects. These are the master effects. A typical application is to put a chorus effect on one and a reverb on two, then use the sends to set how much of each you want on a sound. Press the IFX tab, then the MIDI routing one tab. Even if you don't send a track through an insert effect, you can still set a track's send one and two amount here. And finally, touch the MFX TFX tab. These last two effects, the total effects, are applied to the entire mix at the very end of the signal. For example, you might put a 7-band EQ and a limiter on the entire mix. Press Exit. 